Hey guys, Jungle Jerry here with Tiki71, and yes, it is happening. I've got my Lao Hala matting all figured out here for the ceiling. We're going to be changing out this ceiling and making it look really cool. I've got the string lights down now. The only thing I have left to do is I need to get that rope off. I had a little gap there where the bell is. And so I'm going to take the uh, rope off, get the bell off. I've also got to a little uh, storage deal here that i got to figure out what to do with. I think I've just about got that figured out how I'm going to deal with that. And then I had to figure out my measurements because that's a lot of space right there. Some of it is 48, some of it's 50, and some of it's 47. And so I had to figure out my gaps that I wanted to have in between each one because I'm going to be using bamboo. And here is a couple of examples of the bamboo. It's three inches wide. And I've got a whole bunch more sitting in the living room now uh, waiting to come out here. These are a little bit crooked, so I've got them off to the side. But they're eight foot long. And I'm going to be using those to uh, bridge the gaps and also run around the outside perimeter of the Tiki Bar patio. And so now that I've got my measurements, I know that I need to cut each one of these down to 69 inches. I have the widest ones in the middle. I've got some contact cement. This stuff is really, really good. You put it on the back side of the matting. You also apply it to the, to the ceiling where you want it to go. You wait 20 minutes, and then when you put it there, it is there. A couple of tools I've got. A very heavy roller here. This is what I'm actually going to be uh, sticking it to the ceiling with uh, once I get it all made it up. I've also got an electric stapler, fabric sear shears, and some tape. When you cut this stuff down, you want a double side tape on both sides. That'll keep your matting from fraying. But what I really like is that bad boy right there. That will cut it right up and precisely. And then the other thing I've got is an adhesive roller. And so I'll pour some of that out into a tray and roll the matting and roll the ceiling and wait 20 minutes. Now I only have to do that eight more times. It is now two days later from where we left off, and today it's time to actually get them up onto the ceiling. This is gonna be fun by myself. <laughs> so here's the grand plan. I've got four by eight sheets. I'm going to run one, two, three, and then it's going to be three going that way at 69 inches a piece. So since I'm running three, I, what I did is I measured the halfway point all the way across where I want the center of the first piece of matting to go. And so now all I have to do is measure dead center on that piece of matting and then made it up. I'm also going to make a little slit there for the ethernet cable that I've got running from the inside. Yeah, cable management. I need some. <laughs> and the other thing that I'm going to do here is once I get the matting on, I'm going to make a little slit in it and I'm going to trim that, that hole out. That's just a little access hole. I've got a panel there that slides into place. I'll put some matting on that as well. The other option would be to uh, just leave it completely uh, solid. One of these days, I think what I want to do is I want to take some Bluetooth speakers that I can Bluetooth music to and just lay the speaker up top there and have it uh, beaming the music down. Right now I've got a little uh, Bluetooth boom box and uh, it's always in the way. So now I just need to get all of this tape off here and we'll mark the halfway point of the matting. I'll tell you this stuff worked really good here for uh, keeping a nice smooth cut and the power scissors were out of this world. 
I couldn't believe how smooth and efficiently it cut, but it surely did. All these points that have the loose bits, I'm gonna have that three inch bamboo uh, running at all of the gaps and on the edges and all of that. So if it's a little bit frayed, that's okay because the bamboo is gonna hide it and also help secure it. Really and truly, I could probably leave this stuff on because it'll never be seen, but I'll know it's there. Now I can't take it on faith that all of these pieces are exactly 48 inches. So what I'm gonna do here is measure and then, and sure enough, this one is not. It's actually uh, 49, it looks like. 49 and a quarter. On the other side, we are at 49 and a 16th. In the center, we're at uh, almost 50 inches. Kinda like me, it gets big in the middle. And now, it's time for the fun to begin. This is going to be a lot of fun doing this by myself. The most important thing is when this stuff makes contact with the other, it is going to be there for good. So, I got to make sure I got everything exactly where I want it here. <laughs> this is fun. This is great. All right, where's my slit? There's my slit, so I've got a reference point with that here. No, I don't want that to be there. Get up in there. <laughs> Leave me that. All right, I've got it where I want it, and my staple gun fell. <laughs> This is must-see TV, isn't it, guys? If it was more than just me here, I could move the camera for you. I'm going to have to get these staples in, though. All right, I managed to move the camera. That's one of the things where I just couldn't do anything. So now I take the old roller here, and we're going to start rolling it on here. That's always good. All right. And as I go, I'm gonna give her some staples. Come back here, Mr. Staple Gun. Oh, no, no, no. You stay. I said stay. <laughs> I built this bar so I know it's solid. <laughs> Get up in there. Really? Come on. Son of a gun. Did it unplug? What happened here? It's nice when everything works right. Note to self. Make sure she's on. Ah, what do you know? That's a hell of a thing. I'm working from the middle out.
and I'm going to go about a stapler's length and put one in. Put another one in. If you can get some help for this project, I highly recommend it. It's my day off, everybody's at work. Stuff's actually working pretty good here. First one's up, eight more to go. I kind of understand now why there's not more videos of hanging this stuff on the ceiling. <laughs> For the next piece, I've got an obstruction in the way, and so what I've done is measured down and then measured the width, and I've actually cut out on this second piece for that. What I'm gonna do is on both sides of the fan there, I'm gonna have bamboo running, so that'll be fine. This is the back side, this area, and this area over here is gonna get the contact cement, and then I'll run staples along both sides there and hide it with the bamboo, but that's going to allow me to cut out. And then when I go to put it up, I can just uh, run it right through that uh, cut there. And hopefully, if my measurements were right, it worked out. I'm going to do a dry fit now just to check and see. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Hmm. Plan B. Why in the world should I make life more difficult? I'm gonna run bamboo on both sides of the fan anyway. Let's just do this right here. Yeah. I sure hope my measurements were right. <laughs> Let's find out. Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's much easier to deal with. Mucho. El Betero. Alright, so I'm in there. Or I'm not. All I need uh, is for that to fit there. I just don't know. Well, at least I got the fan blades for help. Now, yeah. yeah, she's wider. She's much wider. There. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna make it work. see if we can make this work here. The important thing to do is going to be to line up the center point of the piece that I just cut and prepped with that line right there because that is the center. If we do that and then I staple that first edge and start working it out, it should work out just right. We're about to find out. Oh, yeah, let's not hit the, let's not get glue on the fan blades. What do you say here, huh? Try not to. Another good reason not to take that glue all the way out to the edge. Right there. And there. Okay. We're gonna get us another piece of bamboo for this part too, it looks like. That's why I bought extra bamboo. <laughs> Start doing a little rolling now. Working from the center out. Now 
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the contact cement. I thought about using liquid nails, but when I saw the videos on the contact cement, I thought, ooh, it gets good and tacky and it won't be all slimy and sliding around. It's working pretty good, really. I like it. rolling now. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep that back, back rolling, rolling. No, I won't do that anymore. Maybe. See how we're looking here now. I'm going to change the camera angle for you. What I think I'd like to do is just bring this roller right on out here. And yeah, we can make that work right there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rope wrap around this. There we go. I'm going to do a rope wrap around this bell here. So that should be fine. I'll do a nice big uh, wrap and that'll, that'll work. Whoa. Yeah, cutting this thing down was definitely the way to go. It's making it a lot easier to work with, too. I'm really liking this little giant ladder here. I got a place for a drill and put my tools, my screwdrivers, and I'm doing a little tray for this. This thing is dandy. And no, I'm not sponsored. It just, uh, it works and I like it. And it might do you well as well. Oh, uh, what are we doing there? I think we got storms coming in again. Well, it's bad last night. We had 70 to 90 mile an hour winds in the area, a couple of tornadoes. Nothing like living in Tornado Alley in the springtime. This is going to go a lot faster now. And when you're putting this stuff up on long runs like this, don't worry about these uneven points because like I said earlier, we're going to hide that with the bamboo. Just a word of caution if you do this project, the 4 by 8 sheets of Lao Hala matting are not square. I have uh, found that out. I'm going to take care of it though with some bamboo and some trim work. <laughs> Yeah, she looks ugly right now, but once we trim it out with the bamboo, it is going to look a whole lot better. I'm going to give you an idea here of what, how it's going to look. So I'm going to have long strips of bamboo going up and down, and then I'm going to crisscross at these gaps as well, and I think that's going to look fantastic. Did I mention they're not all the same size uh, from one end to the other? <laughs> I do have some gaps on the edges that are going to be way too big for the bamboo to cover, so I'm going to have to cut some strips and put those in as well. It's a little trick you can do here. If you have to cut a special piece and you don't want these pieces flying all over the place, on the back side where you're going to either put it up against the wall or the ceiling, get you some tape. This is painter's tape. You could use duct tape or whatever. And tape that up and it'll keep them in place uh, until you can uh, get it up on there.
Well, not too bad for one day. We got, uh, we got all the matting up. I got the gaps filled. Everything else is going to be able to be taken care of bamboo. And that's going to have to be it because I'm about out of gas now. <laughs> Been out this most of the day, so I think I'm going to go inside and get cleaned up and have some dinner. But I may need to do something else first. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do this. 